Hey, Kathleen here, and welcome to Wednesday Wisdom. You know, this week's been pretty, pretty chaotic. A lot of unrest since the homicide of George Floyd and the issue of racism and white privilege with the resulting protests. And, uh, and it's really set us all in a state of, of um, frenzy. So I thought for the card for this week, uh, I, I asked the universe, I said, with this issue, uh, please uh, give us a card that can give us some guidance in terms of how we can manage or deal with this situation. And so I pulled the Sweat Lodge Purification. It's a number two card, as you can see. Well, at first I'm like, whoa, number two, first of all, is relationships. How perfect is that? And and then I started thinking about the purification and I'm like, oh, okay, I get this. So this is what came to me. First of all, let's understand the purpose of the sweat lodge. The purpose of the sweat lodge ceremony is to purify or cleanse the mind, body, and spirit of any rust, call it rust, that has accumulated in our spirit during our life's journey. And, and so, okay, when you think of how, how does it apply to this situation at hand? All right, well, in Jamie Sam's book, The Sacred Path Cards, she talks about the fourth world for the last 60,000 years when polarization existed amongst races and nations and creeds and we are still dealing with this today. This is all about people who look different than you do, or, you know, because they look different than you do, as an example, they um, become suspicious, or that their beliefs are different than yours, and therefore they're a threat. So this has been going on for a long, long time. And we all have beliefs, and beliefs can be changed, but there's a knowing that the Native Americans had, which is a gift. And the knowing is that love is the answer to everything. So when we get in a state of hate or fear or anger, um, you know, it pretty much um, can stop or block us from really shining our light. And so what I understand this week to be is a week of cleansing those negative thoughts and attitudes. Um, But let me let me talk about this sweat lodge for a second. You know, why am I sitting outside? I'm sitting in my backyard because if you look behind me, that is our corkscrew willow tree. Call him Willie. The sweat lodge is made out of the willow tree because the willow tree is the tree of love and it's configured in a circular design with tarps on top because the inside is dark then because this is where it's like returning to the womb of the earth mother and inside is the stone people in of made of like volcanic rock because water is poured on top and then the steam rises and, and the participants, when they enter the sweat lodge, they, they enter the door on their knees, leaving their egos outside, because it's a very sacred circle of prayer and intention. And so when the steam rises, so do the prayers going up to a great mystery. And it allows them to pretty much clean the impurities that they've collected over their years in mind, body, and spirit. Okay. So when we look at how this situation or this card, this message applies to us right now, you know, we've been dealing and feeling a lot of anger and sadness. And um, in some cases, people are getting violent. Uh, we don't want that. But um, it's, it's a week then to let go of the negativity, the negative attitudes, the fear, the sadness, the anger and cleanse it so that we can take some right action 
loving right action you know allow the new life force to enter where we can get clear on what it is that we can do next uh, in a loving way you know how can we resolve this issue let's look at you know um, speaking our minds uh, in a loving way um, assertively of course but not violently and and standing up for what we believe in in terms of black lives matter so you know that's what we need to do we need to get out of the muck cleanse mind body and spirit let it go let go of the negativity and uh, let's start creating that peace and harmony uh, that we want to exist in the world for all of creation so that is our message for this week so this is Kathleen McGinley from Heart Rock, he yeah, Heart Rock Healing. Have a great week, and uh, I'll check up with you next week for some more Wednesday wisdom. Namaste.